Thanks for uh, stopping by the shop. Uh, as you know, I'm Chuck. Okay, we're over at the lathe. It's a Monarch 10EE 1953 model. Love the machine. So, talk a little bit about the setup uh, that I'm using here. Um, my machine uh, has the ELSR, electronic uh, screw reverse. Um, and so it's basically, um, I have two, two levers here for engaging the spindle. Once the ELSR is engaged, then this is uh, locked out. It doesn't do anything. And this up and down here is your forward and reverse. There's the half nut lock. Um, and there's, you can see a stop there on the far side. You can set stops for the carriage to stop. And I've showed it in a previous video. If you don't change the speed of the spindle, uh, the, this carriage stops each time uh, within a half a thou, maybe even less than that. It's really accurate. So you can work close to the chuck once you get everything set up. The other nice thing that the uh, lathe has here is that it has, you, it has a stop. So you, it'll, it, when you pull back out, it stops. It's set by this thumb screw here. So when you come back to your cutting position, either direction, in or out, you always go to the same place. It takes a lot of pressure off of threading because I used to always get confused. How much did I back back out? Did I back out enough? Uh, it really makes it simple. With the, with the ELSR, once you start threading, you leave the half nut engaged. Um, so there's no more trying to pick up the half nut on the uh, dial there. It takes a lot of pressure off of threading. If you were threading something very long, yeah, then you would probably go ahead and pull the half nut and, and move the carriage faster. For what I'm cutting, you know, an inch, you, you just leave everything engaged. So basically, you, all you're dealing with is this and your uh, compound. Now you can see I have a dial indicator set up here. And uh, again, learned this one from Keith Rucker, watching him. Um, but as I mentioned earlier, the depth of cut is 62 and a half thousandths and you can't use the angle. You have to go straight in for that 62 thousandths. You're, you're feeding in with an angle, but you have to read uh, on the 90 degrees. So hence, that's why the uh, dial indicator is set right there. And as I was just coming over and I put the, the lathe tool back in, um, I went, oh, I forgot to, in, in my comedy of errors, uh, one of my times, when I was threading one of those pieces, and I think it was the steel, I don't remember. I put the tool in and I didn't lock the tool in place. So as I, as I started the cut, of course there was a large movement, saw it on the dial here, and what the hell happened there? I didn't catch, still hadn't caught, because it kind of pinched everything. I still hadn't caught that I, I didn't lock the tool post. Those things happen. That's a bozo. <laughs> I don't know if that's a stupid, that's a bozo. But anywho, um, here we are. So I think what I'm going to do, and it's hard for me to uh, film for you guys, but I'll see what I can set up. Uh, what I'm going to do is um, take the threaded collar that Dave has purchased that I showed that doesn't fit on the shaft and see if we can get that to fit on the shaft. As you notice, the tailstock's not there, so I can fit to it and uh, we're going to attempt that. Now, how I do it, um, how am I going to pick up that internal thread? Well, let me, let me get the part over here and we'll talk about that. So this is how I figured out, I don't know if it's right or wrong, how to pick up this, this, uh, this collar right here, how to pick up that thread. So, what I've done is I've set it in the chuck, I've got the half nut disengaged, and I come in and I want to get the chuck snug, but I want to be able to spin it. So that's, that's, that's pretty good there. There's a little, David put a pipe wrench on this thing when he 
was frustrated. But, oh, you guys in the way. God, let's see. Let's see. Oh, I'm all the way back. That's good. Okay, so we got to go out. Let's see if we can get by you. Not disturbing everybody. And we should be. So, what I want to do is get in the bore. See, I hit it right there. Still, still catching it. It's because I went too far. I can't see what I'm doing here with you guys. So, I, I have the lathe shut off so that um, we don't have to listen to the uh, motor generator. So let's see where I'm at right now. There we go. So I'm in. Okay. And what I what I'm doing now, I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the tool towards me and engage the thread with the tool. And at some point, we're getting close, the, the part is going to thread onto the tool. which it just kind of did there. And, and so with playing with it, it's kind of hard behind the camera here. You can feel the tool pick up the thread and just slowly keep pulling it in. Since this is almost a full depth cut there, it's starting to follow it now. You can see it right there, how it's, it's definitely, can't, I can't move the part and it's following the, following the tool. I bring it out a little bit more to get it better. And it'll take it to a point where it will actually lock on the, on the tool. Starting to get tight. Get back just a hair. There we go. Okay, so I'm in. The, I'm in the thread now. I'm. I'm pretty solid and pretty good in the thread. So now. I got to engage the half nut and then I'm in the thread. So let's see, let's flip this guy to, to zero so I know where I'm at. And now we just take the carriage and move the carriage to pick up the half nut. Let's see, which way do we want it? I think we're going to go this way. It's a shorter distance. Eh, I don't really want to go that way. Fortunately, uh, unfortunately, I didn't have the carriage lined up that good on the half nut. So right there, we're in the half nut, but I don't like that. So how do we solve this? Okay, we go back and we thread this guy in some. Now let's see what we did. Well, gotta thread it out some. So I just don't want it so deep in the chuck. So I continue to thread it on. 
get to my half nut. Come on, baby. We're almost there. Almost there. One a little sticking out. There we go. So now you can see by moving that, whoop, I think you can see there. Uh, there's the glare. That I'm on wherever the glare is coming from. That I'm on the uh, number two there. So now I can lock the half nut. Move you guys around there. Half nut's locked. So I'm in the thread and I'm my machine is set at ATPI. So from there, let's come back up here. Now I need to back the tool out. Back the tool out. And I can come out. I can't come out because the half nut's locked, right? So, back you guys up a little bit. So, unlock the half nut. Come out of the part. And now I can pick up any of the any of the numbers here. So, we're back locked in and we're ready to uh start threading again.